Thank you. Thank you for attending JTAG Vigor IPPVX Certified Team Webinar. My name is Perry Liao, the Marketing Project Manager of JTAG Corporation. In this technical application-based webinar, we will focusing on the latest firmware version 3.5.5.3 to introduce those benefits can be provided by JTAG Vigor IPPVX Certified Team to the real case business scenario. In fact, JTAG's Vigor IPPVX Certified Team can be treated as the remedy from the traditional PVX setup for you to get rid of the costly implementation or the tedious settings. So, in the first part of our webinar, we already introduced the benefit from its IP telephony features, including consolidating management for your extension in the situation like move, add, and change, savings from IP telephony, productivity enhancement by PBX, flexible and extendable IP extension setup. On the other hand, in addition to the IP telephony benefit, JTAC's Vega IPVX Certified Team takes care of your business network as well by the uncompromising security features. Another secure feature we are introducing today is Firewall, especially the content security management which gives you the enterprise level protection. For the content security management, you go to advanced section of Vega IPvX Certified Tense web user interface and then you choose CSM. First, I would like to introduce the web content filter profile. This is the license required, so you can get you know the 30 day free trial license from Contouch and then you can have the secure web content filter protection. And in its configured page, I would strongly recommend you remain the default setting like the auto select for your self query server. Then you can do your own profile right here. For this company, you know its web content filter profile it has some pre-group defined section such as child protection, leisure, business, chatting, computer internet, and other section. In this section, normally I would do select O for the child protection and also do the select O for the leisure section. Then in the business section, I would definitely block the job search. This is because I pay you to work. I didn't pay you to see some, you know, inappropriate movie or do your personal entertainment. Especially, I don't want you to do a future betrayal. I pay you to work and then you're looking for another new job during my pay working hour. That's definitely inappropriate for me. After that, we just go to the advanced section again and now we choose firewall, general setup to enable our setting what we do for the web content filter profile. You choose the web content filter and you choose the profile you just did, XYZ rule 1, and then you enable your setting. There are another two sections in the CSM function I will show you. First would be app enforcement profile. And I create another profile name, this time I call it XYZ rule 2. Then first I can do for the instant message section, I can block all kinds of instant message we can record here like the NSN, Yahoo, or for the instant message application, I can block QQ if you know there's a Chinese guy in your company, or you can block the iChat if you know there are some Mac guy in your company, and you can also block the Google Talk. For the voice over IP section, you can block Skype because you know for Vega IPvX certified ten you already got six zip trunk registration for your long distance code so your employee actually don't need to use Skype and also all web instant message URLs. Another would be the peer to peer. I will select then all and then block all peer to peer feature. Then I will do the protocol. 
Still, if you do select and all, and I would normally recommend you to uncheck DNS to remain your device can still communicate with the outside. For the mid section, they got tunneling, streaming, remote control, and web hard You can do select and all and to block all kinds of the MISC functions. But eventually, there is something I want to show you. In the web hard we can also block drop box. You know, Dropbox is an easy to use application, but there's also a very easy way to let your employee to release your corporate confidential data right from their desktop and then to their personal iPad, iPhone, or other small mobile device. Another feature on the CSN I will show you will be URL content filter. I may like to block the sports event. I don't want my employee to watch the you know the baseball game during my pack of working hours, so I block the sports event. Actually, for this keyword object, I already do in my object setting to let it include the football or the major league baseball. So I don't worry about my employee who watch the baseball game during the pay working hour. Then we go to the firewall general setup to enable our setting. First we do the app enforcement, so we choose XYZ root 2. Then we do the URL content filter, so we choose XYZ root 3. Then we already know we complete the web content filter, which is XYZ root 1. And you can also check the syslog, so you know which employee broke up your root. So now your business network is protected by bigger IPvX certified team. For example, you got the VPN connection or you even got the voice over IP over VPN. And you also got a comprehensive firewall like the enterprise level protection by content security management. Thank you for your attending or listening today.